guys, my name is Tina, and I know what you're thinking. I'm not wearing makeup yet because today we are going to review this brand called Australis. Australis, I'm not really sure how you say it. It's very new. I actually just learned about this now when they gave me the package. So this is what it looks like. Pinadala nila ko isang buong like a proper kit. So I think yung pinadala nila is for the whole face. You won't need anything else other than maybe mascara. But other than that, completo sila. I don't really know much about Australis. I haven't heard much about it. The only response that I got is when I posted this on my Instagram story. A lot of my vlogger friends told me na talagang maganda daw yung brand. So we will test it out today. As in first impressions, I will use it all on my face. I already have my skincare. I don't have to put anything anymore. Um, I'm really sweating right now. Dalang init ngayon dito sa room ko. I don't know why. Okay, so meron silang pa stickers also in the package, which is super adorable. It's all their brands. Super personalized and cute. Mayroon silang banana powder. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I believe these are now available in Rustan Smalls, which is Rustan's. And I think ATC is Rustan's, isn't it? I don't know. I will post all the locations down in the description box. Just to be sure. Australis, Australis. I think it's Australis because it's Australian. Australis products are never tested on animals. Most products are already vegan and will be 100% vegan by 2020. So it's always good. They care for their, the world, the environment. I'm so light. I don't like it. I should probably connect my camera to like a big, like a TV screen someday. But for now. And you know the problem is I'm nearsighted. So I don't know if this is clear. Like, yeah, I think I'm pretty. I think I'm okay. So, the first products will go from the base and then eyebrows going down, which is my normal um, routine. I'm gonna start now with my review. Okay, so luckily, actually, yung shade na pinadala nila is quite perfect on me. They also have brushes. May salang three brushes that they gave me. One powder brush like this. One kabuki. Kabuki, which is super soft, actually. Lambot niya sa face. So, gamitin natin yan the most that we can. They also gave a paddle brush. I'm here up cooling. Man, so they also have this. Usually, ginagamit ko to pang apply ng skincare, eh, like for clients. I use that. So I don't know if I can use this um, today. Okay, so let's start off with the base muna. So we have this foundation. It's called Stay Put Longwear Foundation up to 16 hours wear with SPF 15. And they also gave me a concealer, Australis Bright Eyes Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. I swatched this on the back of my hand and it looks very promising. So we will try it right now. This is in the shade Nude. I think, I think, I think this is my shade. I think. I think this is my shape. I'll zoom you in uh, the face. Looks light, okay? This is just my Becca Mineral Primer, oil free. Now for foundation. Oh, okay. I think the shade is okay. Oh, it smells parang orangey. Kamoy niya yung brush cleaner ng swish. Or swoosh, sorry. I actually like the shade of this foundation. So very good to the PR team. It's very medium coverage, light to medium, I'd say. So it covers, it covers a little bit of my discoloration. And normally, pag three pumps, okay na yun. Like, it's more than enough for my face. So this is my fourth and fifth pump already. Or maybe hindi siya okay sa sponge. Kasi minsan pwede ganun. Okay, so maybe four pumps lang kasi may natira pang product sa back of my hand. So I still can see some of my discolorations there. Which is for me okay lang kasi I'm still going to apply powder. So hindi siya super duper problem for me. But if you do have to cover like a big amount of space for discoloration, then you probably need a fuller coverage. Having a weird hair day, guys. So for concealer, it's a push pop thingy. I don't know what you call this kind of device. But it's the one that you pump. So it's very yellow. So letting you know. And I'm not quite sure if they do have different colors of these. I will research. Editing Tina will let you know. Do they have two shades, one yellow and one pinkish? Right there. But this will definitely brighten my face. Yung consistency niya reminds me of the Maybelline Age Rewind. Yung parang di mo alam kung dry or mabilis mag-set. Parang ganun siya. Oh, 
I mean, it looks nice. But like, it's not. The Asian wine is better. This one kind of like, parang it's nice, na parang at the same time parang weird. Yeah, I think you have to really work it in talaga for it to really blend out. Because at first, medyo parang weird yung texture niya. But as you blend, it blends through naman. Like parang it melts. So now to set my face, they have a contouring kit, which is like the Anastasia Beverly Hills now. My friend told me, who was familiar with Australis, is this is a big dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills and people actually really, really um, parang attest to it na it's a good dupe for it. So packaging is super nice, can I just say? Australis AC... Oh, a, what? AC on tour. A contour. I don't... Huh? Contour and highlighting kit. Lighter than light complexion. So I think this may be their light. Their light version. Because I saw this a friend ko that she has the darker shades. These are medio light. So... For this one, they have three different shades. I'm gonna use this one for my under eye. It's very similar to the banana powder that they have. Oh, I don't know it lang. Let me see. They, ito yung bestseller daw nila, yung banana powder by Australis. Whoa. It's like a compact version of the Ben Nye. Bana ben Nye ba yun? Oh, Ben Nye yun, ba? It's like a compact version of that. So, shall I use my brush? Shall I use my sponge? I'll try to use my sponge first kasi that's what I would normally do. Okay, not bad. Okay, you can overdo it. <laughs> mm. Okay, it's very yellow, which I'm kind of into. Now, I'm just packing it on the under eye area because like I said, that's how I would do it. So I really think the same sila with this one, the first color. So I'm just not gonna use that for now because it's more <laughs> Okay, then I'm using the Kabuki just to spread it around the areas. Now, I don't need it to be too compact. This one, maganda siya pang mapupute, and then okay siya for the under eye of like morena girls. So now for the contour, going back to the kit, I'll use the grayer shades first. I think I'm gonna use a mix of both. Oh, sakto lang yung pagkapigmented niya. Hmm, I really like this shade. Kasi minsan, yung pang contour, although ginagamit ko pa rin, even if it's warm, maganda rin kasi talaga yung effect kapag cool toned yung, or yung contour shade mo. It will really sink it in. So this is the before and after. Ooh, my bag of favorite makeup. And then going back to my kabuki, just blend it all together para hindi lang masyadong harsh. You can leave it harsh if you want to, but I don't want to today. I don't think I'll be using the warmer shade anymore. Okay, now to contour my nose using the same cool shades. It looks kind of warm still. Whoa, I really like this shade. And once again, go back with your kabuki with no product. Yung kwa na yung natira. Just kind of run your brush around your contour. So, I think I'm gonna move on to the blush because, I don't know, I look weird. This is Show Some Cheek Blush. This is in the shade Fame. Mm. I'm gonna live forever. I see pigment. Parang wala silang highlight. Ay, meron pala. It's actually quite exactly like Fig from Everbelena. Most of the time, I over blush, but... Oh well. There we go. So I like it. It's a normal blush. And yung pigments nila, pansin ko, they're not, hindi sila yung, whoa, pigment. They're not like that. But they're the right amount of pigment that you need when you apply your makeup that you don't have to build it up too much. But you also don't have to be too careful with it. So it's just the right amount of pigmentation. <clears throat> okay, now for the highlight. I'm just skeptical ako because it's quite subtle. And I don't know. I'm not really that into subtle highlights. Okay, so for highlight, I'm gonna try to use a smaller brush. Brush. I think I might go for a mix. Oh, it's very, very chalky. It's very chalky. It's not wala. Oh my god. So don't tap it off because it's not wala sa brush. Maybe a little bit. It's for the simple everyday girls, you know? It's for the subtle ones. The ayo mashadung papan sin. See a little bit of the lighter shade? I don't want to shine no barba. Okay, mera nag iba nang sheen. Okay, okay. I mean, meow. Your reflex kasi nga is very like fine. That's why it's more of like a satiny highlight than like a metallic one. 
There you go. I mean, yeah. And dami lang ano do. And daming like what do you call that? I forgot what it's called. Kickback. Para mabilis ko siya mapapan because it, it's quite chalky. The highlights are not these matte ones. Okay, for the kilay, we have micro brow pencil. Mukala siyang normal na pencil na manipis. Which is what I'm into a lot lately. Hindi ako masyadong mahilig sa makakapal. So this is fine. This is in the shade brown. <laughs> Para maputol. Taka, taka. Um... It's very faint. It's not as creamy as the ones that I'm used to. It's more pang natural, I feel like. Mas natural yung effect niya. Hindi siya super madrawing. Actually, I like it kahit hindi siya sobrang pigmented. Kasi parang you can be super natural with it, even with a heavy hand. So, carry siya sa akin. Eh, gets mo ba yun? Yung parang with using this, you can never have like really thick brows. So, at least safe ka. Yan. Okay, so that's it for the brows. That's as good as it's gonna get. Which is okay. Not too bothered with it. Nakakainis lang yung brow hair ko. So I'm just gonna put some brow gel on top of it. Because this is really annoying me. This is just from Benefit. To keep it all in place. Very natural looking brows. Well, for me. There we go. Yeah. It's very brown though in the camera. Whatever. Okay, so now moving on to the eyeshadow. Hindi siya nag-crease. Normally, nag-crease yung eyes ko when I go to the to the eyeshadow already. So, it's doing well. They gave me this eyeshadow set. Australis Eye Spy Nude Eyeshadow Palette. So, they only have three mattes and two shimmers. There's not really much that you can do with it. I mean, it's basically an everyday palette. But crime scene, you can definitely use for the brows as well. So, let's try to make a small smoky neutral eye with this i'm gonna start with this guys oh this guys <laughs> funny marami din siyang kick back look medyo makalat siya so this is a light ano matawag dito sa kulay na to i wanna describe it properly it's a nice transition shade so let's do it all over it's a yellowish brown color, you know, lang mustardy, but not like with a hint of. You know what? I don't know. I really don't know how to describe this color. Comment down below kung ano yung pag describe yung sa color na to para I know how to describe it next time. I'm just applying it all over the lids right there, and then moving on to another brush. Let's use Lockout. Which is a dark, warm brown, medio auburn. Pigment is there, you know. Can't complain about it. It's nice too. Okay, then just go back to my first brush. Para kita parin that yellowish color that I cannot describe. Like very high up. Okay, and then drag the auburn color down to my lower lashes. So we have a very, very, very smoky eye. Oh, okay. Now you see the pigment there. Good pigmentation then. Very consistent, at least. In lang, you do have fallouts. Yep, you do. Okay, so this is the clean brush. So since it's dusty, hindi siya super nagsistick ka agad, even if my fallout, so that's good. Just make sure na nakaset yung foundation nyo para nag-eyeshadow kayo. So at least it won't stick to your wet foundation. You know, kita nyo yan. Dust it fast, you know. Matatanggal naman din siya kaagad, in fairness to it. Actually, pwede mo tong gamitin as light and as dark as you can because it can really work that way. Now to darken it even more using Crime Scene, smaller brush, and then just press it on to the outer area right there. Hindi ganun ka grabe yung contrast nila with the auburn color. So with this part, if you really want it dark, you do have to build it. Unless you're okay now with this, then that's fine. Yeah, just creating more depth. I think I might get another brush for this. I want to blend it, but not too much. Just keep going back to the colors. But hindi lang siya mawala. So now, they have two shimmer shades. Yung isa, parang feeling ko para tong greeny. Yep, it is kind of like yellowish borderline greeny. So let's use that with a wet brush because since a fallout siya, I don't want it flying everywhere. Para siya nagmukhang pasty. Do you see that? Pretty. Oh. Yeah, extend that in inner. 
And then I'm gonna use the second color with a dry brush and just kind of blend it in the middle like that. Medyo ano kasi siya oh, parang olive, olive color. And then just go back. It's a good transition. Very seamless looking. And just keep going back to the dark to re-blend it. It's very simple. Sobrang dust of like shimmer lang siya if you don't use it wet. So I do suggest you use it. But it looks nice. Definitely nicer when wet. And then to darken the lower eye part just to make it smokier, I'm going to wet my brush. And just stamp it on my lower lash line. You know? So now for the eyeliner, we have a normal eyeliner. Kind of reminds me of the Maybelline one. It's called Stay Put Long Lasting Retractable Eyeliner. It's very basic looking. Nothing really special to it. It's a retractable black liner. Let's see the glide. Oh. In fairness, because normally with so much powder, it's so hard for the eyeliner to glide. It's struggling a little bit now, but not really. Do lang sa front part. Just like that. Really simple. Oh! It broke. Umbris masira yung mga retractable na lang. Trying the waterline. Oh, it worked. Should I do bottom eye also? I think I want to do bottom eye. I haven't done a black eyeliner in my waterline in a while. Ooh. This is like old school Tina. Ooh, it's very blendable, huh? Holy crap. Oh my god, I like that. Ooh, it's getting creamier and creamier. Okay. So I'm just gonna put on some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so while my lashes are drying, I'll zoom you back out for the lips naman. Okay, I'm just going to remove the foundation on my lips because I hate that. Okay, so they sent four different types of lippies. They have liquid lips, na brown, also na red. I'm assuming these are not like matte. And then yung parang matte nila is the velour lips matte lip cream. So yeah. There we go. And then these are like para medyo glossy. So what should I do? I think I might go for a nude one. A medyo brown. Should I? I'll try it na lang din. Mm. It's so subtle. It's barely covering the shade of my lips. Kinda like it. Meron siyang glitter. Ang cute. Ang cute niya. Kakaiba. Sheer siya. But it dries matte. So swatch ko na lang the other three. By the way, this one is called Venice. This one is Osaka. So this would be like the typical shades that I wear. So buti na lang. I didn't try it. Para naman maiba. I'm really digging this look. And then for the liquid lipstick, this is Tarte. T-Art. And the other one is Waffle. Ooh, ito naman may pagka... Meron siyang like gold sheen. Right there. Kita ba? Para siyang metallic. And then this one is the nude lang. Very brown. It looks, it feels matte. Like it feels like it would dry matte. So those are the shades that they gave me. I really like this one. It's surprisingly nice. I thought I wouldn't like it so much because noong nalagay ko parang sheer. But it turns out nice. And it's matte and it's glittery. It's not heavy on the lips too because I think because it's sheer. So I really like it. Alright, so this is the final look. I have to leave now. Overall, I think it's really nice. It's a good addition to our makeup here in the Philippines. So it's nice that they are finally here. So check them out. I will put all the locations where you can find these products and also the prices. It's, it's gonna be included in the video if you watch it, obviously. So let's see how long this lasts. I will edit it in by the end of this video. But yeah, I really like it. The invitation it's nice, it looks nice, contour is nice, I don't feel heavy on the face. So far, so good. Um, I'll be back later. Hi guys, so this is 5 hours after. Don't mind my overall look. Um, it stayed pretty well. Um, medyo oily ng slight here, but overall, it's still there. No lang sa mouth area, right here, you see that? Because I ate dinner. Nothing really out of the usual. My eyes are still pretty intact. My key is still there. Yung shine ko medyo nabawasan na because I was lying around in the couch. Uh, nagmuta ako ng bonga. Oh my god. I don't know if that's my eyes or it's the effect of the eyeliner. 
and the eyeshadows. Probably just my eyes. This is great for combination skin. Dry skin would be okay. Oily skin, I don't know. But you do have to blot probably. I didn't blot at all today. As in, nothing. And there's still glitters on my lips a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to have a long-lasting lipstick. So yeah. So that is it. That is my final, final thoughts about these products. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Pass this on to people who you know would be interested in Australis, Australis, whatever. The key card of the day is right here. Congratulations. I love you so much. If you want to see more of my videos, please don't forget to click the post notification button. That's pretty much it. I have nothing else to say. And with all that said, I want you guys to never forget that you are beautiful. Bye. God bless. Pew, pew. It's a gun spreading love. Get it? Okay. Bye. <laughs>